Okay, these diagrams depict the situation that's described here. We've got this trough that has bases that are isosceles triangles with a base that is five feet long and a height that is one. And this length is 14 feet. And we're told that the water is filling up at a rate of nine cubic feet per minute. And we want to know how fast is the water level rising uh, when the water is nine inches deep. Okay. And the, the key is that this um, green dotted line here kind of depicts a water level at a given point in time, depending on this value H. So we want a formula for volume of the trough in terms of H. Well, we could say V of H is the function that we're looking for. Uh, and the key is setting up a formula for that volume is based on the area of the base times the length because it's a, a, a prism. So if we picture this base as five by one and this little green uh, tri isosceles triangle as this triangle right here at a given point in time, and we label this distance B and this distance H, these triangles are, must be similar. First of all, they share this angle right here. And because this base is parallel to this base, these angles are congruent because when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. So these triangles are similar, which means corresponding sides are in proportion, and that's true of altitudes also. So we can say 5 is to 1 as B is to H. And then we can solve for B, and we will have the base is always 5 times whatever the height is. And the reason we do this is because we want the formula V to depend just on the letter H. The volume of this prism is the area of the base times the height of the prism. Well, the area of the little isosceles triangle base is one half the base times the height. So here is the formula for the area of the base. One half the base. Oh, but the base is 5H. There's the base times the height, which is h. And so we've got length times width. Well, I don't have the length here yet. It's 14. So there's a formula for the volume of water that's in the trough at any given point in time, depending on h. And we can rewrite that as 35h squared. Uh, the key is that, sort of like implicit differentiation, we're going to take the derivative of each of these, each side of this equation with respect to t. So dv dt is equal to 70h, reduce the exponent by 1, times the derivative of h with respect to t. That's the chain rule. And now we substitute what we know into this formula. We know that dv dt is 9 cubic feet per minute. And I'm going to go to red. So this is 9 feet cubed per minute. equals, we want to know what dh dt is at the point in time when h is 9 inches. The key is everything else is in feet. So we got to convert 9 inches to feet. So 9 inches in 
feet is nine twelfths of a foot, which is uh, three fourths of a foot. So that's what we put in here. And dH dt is in feet per minute. Feet per minute. And all we have to do is solve uh, for this value right here. Okay, and that will involve uh, simplifying 70 times 3 fourths and then dividing 9 by that to isolate DHDT. So we're over the five minute mark. I'm going to end the video there and leave that to you. I think we get an answer of 6 35ths feet per minute.